Okay, today I want to talk about a new thing that's coming um, called text fragments. Now this is part of a URL where instead of just targeting an ID somewhere on a web page, you can target a piece of text so you can have a page automatically scroll to somewhere on the page where some text exists. Now this is sort of like an add-on to what you would have with a, a link to an ID. And I've got two web pages here, one that's got some content. I've got some IDs like this heading, this heading, and this heading all have IDs on them. The main area has an ID on it. And I'm going to link. These are anchor tags on my second page. This is what it would look like if you were linking to uh, a page that has an ID on it. So this is right here. I click on this link. That's the href for it. And this down here, these last four, this is what the new text fragments look like. So they still start with the octothorpe, the hashtag, whatever you want to call it, the pound sign. That character followed by these three characters, a colon and a tilde and another colon. If it has those things right there, those four characters, then after that you can write text equals and the text that you're looking for on the page. So just to show you, this is a regular ID. If I click on that, there it is. Now, it changed red here because I have in my CSS this target pseudo class. So I'm going to make it red. If the ID matches the ID on the page, then that style gets applied. Now, because text fragments are new, this does not apply yet. This doesn't work yet. There's still a few things that are being sorted out. Right now, Chrome, uh, so the Blink engine is the only one that supports this. So you'll get this in Chrome, you get it in Opera, um, Chrome on Android, and I think the new Edge is also supporting it. But you won't get it in uh, Firefox or Safari or Safari on iOS. Now let's jump back and take a look at one of the text fragments. So here I'm looking just for the word Franks. So if I can find that word on the page, there it is. Oh, and the target is now working. Yesterday when I did this, the target was not working. Uh, I did just update my browser though to a new version, so that is likely the cause for that. Okay, fantastic. So target is working now as well. Here we have, this was highlighted as yellow. That was the browser highlighting this, and then the element that was the source of this target that is what gets styled with the red. So fantastic, that's working as well. Frank's Beans here, you'll see there's a comma separating it. So I'm looking for something that starts with Frank's and ends with Beans. And you can see it is case sensitive, or case insensitive rather. There, highlighted in yellow, there's the whole thing that matched Frank's and it ended with Beans. If you add m more things, so here we've got Culpa eus with a space in between and ipsum space nulla so it begins with culpa eos it ends with ipsum nulla and then this part right here starts with the dash and dolore what this means is if it is followed with this if this is the thing that comes after these two things so the text has to include this and start with this the text has to include this and end with this but then the highlighted text is not going to include this. This just has to come after it. So we click on this link. There we go. Target gives me the whole element. The culpa eos and ipsum nulla, that was the start and end of the text that I'm targeting. And dolore, that is the thing that comes afterward. It's the suffix. And we can also go back to the nav page here. The last example, we've got something that comes before and then the hyphen, something that comes after, and the hyphen. So this is a prefix, this is a suffix. This is what comes before the text we're looking for, this is what comes after the text, but it's not part of the selected text. So here's the begin, and here's the end. By default, you can have one. You have to have one thing that matches. If you have two, it's going to be the start and the end, and then the optional ones at the beginning and the end, the suffix and the prefix. So we'll click on that one, and there we go. Here we have 
the start and the end, and this is what came before it. The ulam is what came after it at the very end, but is not part of that selected text. All right, so that is text fragments. Hope you find that useful. Hopefully that will be uh, implemented in the near future in other browsers. I know that uh, Firefox and um, so Mozilla and WebKit have both expressed interest in this. They said it's a good idea. Um, I'm not sure if the work has begun on doing this as an experimental feature, but I would expect to see it sometime later this year. All right, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. I will leave the link to this one so you can look at the actual uh, draft spec yourself. And as always, thanks for watching.